it's Books with Tina 08, and today I have a book review on The Last Star by Rick Yancey. If you're unaware, this book is the third book in the Fifth Wave Trilogy. Some background on the Fifth Wave Trilogy in case you have not read any of them. So basically what ends up happening is there's been an alien invasion. We're not really sure why they're here, but they've been sending out what our main reader calls these waves of things to destroy humanity or like kill off a lot of people that ends up killing off a lot of people. We're not really sure why they're doing it. The first wave, and I'm going off the top of my head, so I hope this is right because I didn't review it, but the first one was like an electromagnetic shock thing. I don't know. It wiped out all of electricity. It's like your phone, like all battery powered things, all things that plugs in, so no lighting, no t no transportation, no nothing. Planes crashed from the sky, it was bad. The second one was natural disasters. I don't know if anything happened with the moon necessarily, but there's a bunch of tsunamis and hurricanes in all the major cities on the coastlines basically were all destroyed. So a lot of people died. The third wave was with the birds, I believe, and they ended up spreading diseases to everyone. But then I can't remember what the fourth wave is. Oh, wait, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make sure I'm correct with this. I think I am. Okay, I was right. So yeah, the third wave, there's this plague, illness type thing, and it spread through the birds. So it basically spreads everywhere ends up driving people insane, they end up kind of losing their minds and dying in the end, and they end up bleeding a lot and like blood comes out of like their ears and their mouth and their nose and their eyes and like, wow. And then the fourth wave is where the aliens have come among us and we don't know who's who. And the fifth wave is gonna happen soon and that's what we're kind of reading about leading up to the fifth wave and it's really good if you haven't read the fifth wave i'd really recommend that because that book was amazing infinite sea was eh, not as good but still good in my opinion and then the last star eh. so yeah if you have not read the last star but you've read the first two books, you can stick around a little more. I'll be going a little more in depth. But if you haven't read the first two books, then I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's going to contain some spoilers for those books. So if you haven't read those two, bye. If you have, let's dwell in a little more. So if you haven't read The Last Star, it basically continues following Casey, Cass Cassie, not Casey. Uh, Evan, Zombie, Ringer, Sam, the whole nine yards. And this one is told from more perspectives. So we get to see uh, perspectives from Cassie, Evan, Ringer, Zombie, Sam, and even some other like people not even like in our story that kind of just end up showing up and they're in here as well. So when we start off, Ringer is still with Bosch and as I've said in all my priorities, I didn't really remember what happened at Infinite Sea. I still have no clue, but I kind of remember Ringer being there. But when I first was reading this, it made it sound like Ringer was working with Vosh. Which she kind of was, but wasn't at the same time. And she ends up going off with this woman. What's her name? She ends up going off with this woman named Constance to try and meet up with Zombie, and Zombie ends up going and trying to find her in Tika, but rest in peace, Tika. And he goes off with Dumbo, and they have to try to pass through this forest with two different silencers, and try to meet up with Ringer and Constance, uh, well, just Ringer, but Ringer's there with Constance, and basically, we find out that Ringer is after Evan, Ringer and Constance are after Evan because the mothership, which is above them, wants Evan and they want him to study what's gone wrong because his like 12th system, which is like his alien part kind of, 
has gone wrong because he no longer wants to fight for the cause and is like human like I love her. See, you know, I gotta like you know, I'm gonna kill off all my own kind to save Cassie, and they're like, I have to then, no, this ain't good. But, so they're trying to find Evan, and while that's happening, Evan and Cassie are at home doing, who knows what, we don't really even follow them. Which is one of the things that annoy me. This, like, from the fifth wave to the last star, I feel like, with infancy's kind of intermediate, I feel like we shifted the character, like, the main focus from Cassie to Ringer. And I don't like Ringer. I didn't really care for Cassie that much either. Like, Zombie Ben's parts were, like, the most entertaining. Like, the parts I always, like, looked forward to, which were always the shortest. And Ben is freaking stupid in this book, but I still liked it more than everything else. And it just seemed awkward. And I was like, oh, get it, romance. And like, I'm like, the world's ending? Like, get over yourselves. Anyways, that was kind of my non-spoiler review of The Last Star, so if you haven't read it, I recommend you pick it up. Um, some people really, really enjoyed it. The ending for me was the only part that, like, the whole book was kind of, it was, it was like kind of four stars, and then the ending meh, just went down for me, but I know a lot of people enjoyed how it ended. I just personally didn't, so I'd recommend you pick it up and give it a read. Because just because I enjoy it doesn't mean you won't. And I didn't hate it, so I mean, it's not like a terrible book by any means. Just wasn't my favorite. But yeah. Um, so if you haven't read it, bye. Unless you want to be spoiled. So now we're going on to the spoiler part, Last Star. I literally had no idea what happened with Ringer. Like, I know, like, they put, like, things on it, and I guess she ended up. We find out she slept with Alex, Nico, I don't remember what the heck his name was, but he slept, she slept with this guy and ended up being pregnant, Don't what the, f like, why? What did that add to the story at all? Like, we get it, you're in love with someone, like, get over yourselves. Okay, so I was, like, checking to see how many pages which were in this book, which were a lot, 338, so you know, like 150 less than the fifth wave. Like, these books have gone teeny after that book. Anyways, and I saw Ben's name. And I was like, Ben and Cassie are getting together. I was always team Ben, because she had the crush on him. I just liked him more. Like, Evan, you're a creepy stalker, dude. Like, get out of here. Like, no one wants you. I don't, I didn't like him at least. Especially the love interest. Cassie annoyed me too. But I love Ben. I love reading Ben stuff, and Cassie's our main character, so Cassie's gonna put Ben. And I read the end, and I'm like, she's doing it to get together. The aliens are gonna kill. They're gonna kill um Evan, and the world's gonna be saved. Or Evan's gonna blow up the mothership and save the world, but he's gonna die. And Cassie and Ben are getting together, and Ringer will die along the way. And no one cares because it's Ringer. But I was wrong because Cassie blows herself up. And Evan survives, even though, like, his mind turned a freaking crazy person. And Cassie's like, I killed Evan Walker. And I was like, I'm like, no, no, what? No. And But I thought he was dead. And then, no, of course he's not. Because it's freaking Evan Walker. And he's a freaking alien. But he's not even an alien. Like, what the heck? This entire series was about aliens, but they're not even aliens. Like, there's aliens in the mothership, but there's not aliens on the planet. And they're just people with this 12 system thing and Ugh. it was so frustrating. Like this everything we knew wasn't true. Which I like it's you know fine, but Ugh. it annoyed me. Also, when Dumbo died, I was really confused because he's like, bro, he's like, I'm afraid it's gonna wake up. He's like, bro, I'm like killing Ben, and he's like, oh crap, it woke up. But he was just saving them, like, Dumbo, I didn't even know who you were, really, and I, I miss you. So sad. Also, this preacher person and the cat lady, like, come on, kill the people. You said yourself, no stopping, no talking, you just shoot and kill. If you don't know, if there are people out there, they're enemies. No, what do you do, of course, you talk to them, and then they try to kill you. And you barely end up surviving. Also, I did not like, I 
what was the point of this prequel? So we knew this priest they would run into was a silencer or just to prove that they, he killed like an entire people? Like, why? Like, do I care? Not really. Like, billions of people are dead. Why do I care about these 40? Like, maybe I'm a normal person, but I don't know. And the whole Ben and Ringer romancing, I'm like, Ben, you're with the freaking wrong girl. And then Ringer just didn't like Ringer. I've never really liked her because maybe the first book, because Cassie didn't get along with Ringer that well. Maybe that's why I don't like her because Cassie is our first person kind of thing. I just didn't like her. Sam was being a little blunt. Like, he's like, I don't love you, Cassie. I hate you. I would want a zombie. Zombie's my only friend. I'm like, get the frick out of here. And that freaking girl, whatever her, Megan, like, you're like five years old, like, follow her and like, I'm gonna lock myself in this room while the house is being ready to expect me blown up. I'm like, Kathy, I'm gonna die with that Kevin. like, mm. I know I'm really ranting, but I mean, it wasn't that bad of a book, but, you know, compared to the first one, you know, I just went down. But I like this kind of primary color thing. That's kind of cool. Anyways, the ending. I understand why it happened the way it did. I really liked the fact that Evan got, like, wiped. And, like, it added kind of a new twist. I was like, oh, God, no. Like, I thought he would remember, but he didn't. And that was interesting. But, and Vosh was killed, so that was good. But Cassie blew herself up. And like everyone's like, that makes sense because Cassie's the brave one. And I'm like, yeah, but she's a good character. I don't want her to die. It's just like all these other books. And I guess this one's been dual perspective from the beginning. But And then we come to the end and they're living in the caves and it's like, we're all happy and I'm no longer Ringer. I'm Marika or Mariuka or whatever my name is. And I'm no longer Zombie. I'm Ben and I'm no longer Nick. Nugget, I'm Sam! And they're all living in one big happy family. Like, I don't know what the heck, like, Ringer and, like, Zom Ben, like, are, like, raising Sam and Megan as their own. And Ringer didn't end up getting an abortion and had a baby. And Ben's like, I love you, Ringer. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Ben, shut the F up. And they're like, we named her Cassie. Oh! And then freaking Evan shows up patrolling the place. I'm like, immensely cheesy and so freaking predictable and it reminded me of so many other books and movies and everything I'm like stop naming your kid after someone who died we all get it Harry Potter did it everyone's done it I feel like I don't actually know like it's nice but it's like she's gone and like Sam's like make Cassie shoot up it's like no now he has like an adopted type sister thing even though he Sad sister and again. I <sighs> Anyways, I ended up giving this a three out of five stars. I didn't really explain a lot of stuff that happened, but I was kind of it was a little bit of a rant. I enjoyed the beginning part, kind of getting to know these characters again. Um when Sam killed Candos, like it just so much of it seemed unrealistic and I I just the characters we focused on I didn't like and there was too much romance stuff. Also, speaking of romance, I guess Cassie and Evan slept together in this book. Like, what the frick? That the whole thing was so awkward. This Evan is something like Can I just read a YA book without romance? And we're like, I guess not. Anyways, that was my review on The Last Star by Rick Yancey. I ended up giving 3 out of 5 on Goodreads. If you want to connect with me on Goodreads, my um, thing is down below. I hope you enjoyed this book review. I'd like to hear your thoughts on The Last Star and just the entire Fifth Wave trilogy as a whole. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe down below. Bye.